Hey everyone, it's Carly Shea and welcome to a room tour. This is definitely a video I've been meaning to do for a while. I think I did a room tour like all the way back in 2021 Vlogmas. My room has definitely changed since then. I'm so excited to show you all it. I've had a few people say they really love my room, which thank you, I really appreciate that. My room is like something very special to me that I love to decorate and stuff. So it definitely means a lot. Yeah, so I thought this would be a fun video. Without further ado, let's just get to it. So starting right by the door obviously we've got this little coat hook i put it up pretty recently and it's just got like jackets and tote bags and such but it's really helpful <laughs> like i like be able to hang stuff up here if we look up there there's a bunch of marvel posters if you see the gap that's where ant-man's supposed to be it's roughly in chronological order and i like ordered it along with some new posters to maybe put over above the door here i was still deciding uh and they were supposed to come on may 16th it's may 31st and they haven't come and i haven't gotten any updates so i think i'm gonna have to contact them and be like hey so i never got these and then i think i'm not gonna order it because i don't know where i'm gonna put the new posters and just order ant man so there's not like a hole and they do go to uh the first avenger which is chronologically the first marvel movie if you didn't know, I am a huge Marvel fan. Right behind me, this giant mirror is my closet. It's really nice to have a huge mirror. Uh, I really like like looking at myself in it. <laughs> what else are mirrors for? So that's really nice. It's like huge. So if you see that, we're not gonna go in there. That's just my closet. But anyway, let's start all the way down here. The bottom shelf. It's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, there's like, I think a bunch of rocks in there. There's a mini projector that I can't get to work and it's really annoying. I need to get it to work. Label maker instruction manuals, receipts, old school stuff, like um, notes that I kept from this year, some binders that I think I could maybe reuse, all those goods. That's really how the first shelf, I just like made it a little bigger recently to put all my school stuff, I, like move the shelf up. I love that the shelf shelves are adjustable. It's so nice. <laughs> and the next shelf is the lovely Rick Riordan shelf. Uh, he wrote like Percy Jackson and other like mythological children's series stuff. I went through my Percy Jackson phase at the ripe age of 13. I actually haven't heard Magnus Chase. I'll probably get to it eventually, even though it's for like 11 year olds. Next up we have the dystopian fantasy, mostly children stuff, like Harry Potter. We have The Darkest Minds, highly recommend. Uh, it's for like younger readers, but it's a really great dystopian. I love it so much. There is a movie, but it's like not at all the book. The Hunger Games, which is fully unopened. I have not read it. And then we have... Six of Crows, uh, Crooked Kingdom, Shadow on Bone, that whole thing. I also want to buy, like, Roll of Wolves and stuff. I've just, like, not really been into fantasy stuff recently. I don't know what it is, but I'm just, like, sick of it. <laughs> that was, like, all I read in, like, middle school and, like, freshman year. And I just prefer romance now. I'm, like, if I'm going to read something, I'm probably going to read a romance, which is just kind of funny. Like, total genre shift for me. Uh, but that's really good. I did actually read about half of Shadow and Bone, and then I just kind of, like, got in a reading slump, and I never finished it. I'll get back to it one day. Moving on to the next shelf. There's just some other books here. Um, I haven't read any of those. So we've got this jar of rocks to hold them back. We've got these weird little play things that I've had since I was a child. I don't know. They're kind of fun. Then I got this recently. It is a little speaker. I got it for my birthday. Thank you, Emery slash Captain Cutie. Link her channel down below. She's amazing. Check her out. Uh, I used this in the shower this morning, and it was really good. It's not waterproof. It was, like, outside the shower. Got a rock holding back these books. These are, like, nonfiction books, I guess. And now for my favorite shelf. It's so cute. I've got a little thing of selenite in the corner. Actually, I've selenite in all four corners of my room. I think we missed this one right here. It's, like, literally on its own homemade shelf. <laughs> I don't know. I did that forever ago. It's kind of like a protection thing. I put them there. They're going to stay there. Anyway, we have this C in the middle, which is actually, fun fact, a book. And I used to write my passwords in it. We've got these lovely little pine cones that someone gave to me for my birthday forever ago. Barely know that girl anymore. She gave me one of my birthdays ever. But they're, like, really cute, and I really like them. There's some various crystals here, geodes. Uh, these, holding back the books, are actually full of other rocks. I have a lot of rocks. I was a rock child. Right here we have Girl, Stone, and Thorn. I haven't read it. I've heard it's really good. I really want to read it. Again, not on a fantasy kind of book thing. Although I think it's like also romance. It's a both. They both die at the end. It's so good. So is Red, White, and Royal Blue. Highly recommend both of those. The first one at the end is like a prequel to their both die at the end. So I really am excited to read that. I just like have been in a reading slump. And I've been quite busy. And then The Fault in Our Stars, I bought recently and have not even touched. And then over here we have all of Alice Oseman's book. I own every single one of her books. As you can see, Loveless is a completely different set than the rest of the books here. So, but that's okay. I do also have, I was born for this, currently reading it, been reading it for like probably six months. I've only read Radio Silence and Loveless, but I will get to the rest. 
eventually. And then we have all the Heartstopper books and the Heartstopper yearbook. Um, I've read all the Heartstopper books. I read like each of them in one day. And finally this last shelf, there's not much. There's like some sombreros. I collected sombreros for a short amount of time. I don't know. A music box, I think. Here are my yearbooks that I'll probably have to blur because I see my high school and middle school name. I have all my elementary school ones too. <laughs> There is a pottery I made in my cat a long time ago. There's a light up Jigglypuff. It does not light up. And my third grade invention, the phone free zone. My parents would say that I would later regret this invention. I do. I just think it's funny. Sometimes me and Claire use it when we can't get off our phones trying to do homework. Next on my desk, we've got a lamp that I really barely use. It has a Wanda thing on it. I was in Wanda for Halloween. Two years ago. Yeah, uh, before she really went off psycho. Uh, the clothes roller. I have cats and dogs. Hey, stapler, pencil sharpener, blue light glasses. Pencils and scissors and pens and such. Uh, here's a collection of bottle caps. I've been doing this for like two, three years. I lost the lid, which kind of makes me mad. Don't drink a ton of soda. So it's like very slowly growing collection. I've got a new candle that I just got. I am indeed a Taurus. I got it for my birthday. Beautiful. Smells really good. And then there's a lighter for candles and an Alexa in the corner. Uh, here's my beautiful chair. It's kind of falling apart. That's okay. Uh... <laughs> It looks a little crazy. And this is my price is for eight minute. This is a drawer right here. There's a various stuff here. Uh, there's three drawers here. Top one is diaries and such. Don't go snooping in there. Power cords mostly, I feel like. And then like children's stuff. I don't know why I have a whole drawer of children's stuff. I just do. No need to judge. Up here on my shelf, we've got a plant. I just bought this plant. It's going well. I keep killing my plants. I don't want to kill this plant. It's really cute and adorable, and I think it's really nice. Next up, we've got a bonsai tree. Not even gonna pick it up. It's really dead. There's a, like, amethyst little flower thing that is severely broken. Uh, then we have my collection of candles. My winter candle. My spring candle. My summer candle. And my fall candle. I thought they were all uniform. Only these two are, and these logos are different. So that's why they're backwards, because I like them to be uniform. We have got a diffuser, and here we've got a very pretty little box. Some diffusers or oils. Here is a candle that I will never burn because I think it's too pretty. And here's a little star. If it catches the light, there's some like little shiny things in here. It doesn't a lot though. Uh, up here there's also a sun catcher thing. And then there's also a dream catcher over here. These, this is my curtain. Basically shade, which is really nice. It works really well. It's like a very light pink. It looks way more bright pink on camera. But yeah, it goes up there, which is really nice. My bed. I love my bed. It's really cozy. It's really great. As you can see, I have too many Squishmallows. It's like really big. So it's got like shelves back there, as you can see. And then under here, there's two drawers that are like massive. I have pajamas, various other things in it. We have a map of America, the states that are colorful, the ones that I've been to. As you can see, my family has not traveled to the South very much. We are going to cross those off this summer. We're doing a nice little... T tiny state trip and then we have this like little crystal tower very nice very pretty i think this new crystal thing that glared shot at me thank you girl we have a rogue one poster kind of random uh, then there's some more star wars things here uh, we've got a little star wars mandalorian pop baby yoda a porgy there's the other selenites in the corner these are also blue light glasses i have three pairs Star Wars corner. I do like stores. I'm just not like a major fan. Up here we've got like this crayon painting. It was my sister's forever ago and I just put it in here and I think it's kind of cool. Also we have my tapestry up there. I think I got it literally on Amazon. It's pretty <laughs> and it's just like what I stare at while I'm sleeping I guess. I was born for this. Told you I was reading it. <laughs> didn't, didn't say I was very far. I'm just like bored with it. If someone has like a interesting spoiler please comment it. Spoilers convince me to read. Pencil sharpeners and a co two coloring books. I used to color before bed every night. I still do sometimes, but I don't always have time. Um, there's just a bunch of squishmallows here and stuffed animals and stuff. Not really important. This Claire got me for Valentine's Day. We did little cute little Valentine's Day exchange. Little friends Valentine's Day gifts. Uh, this is an elephant that my sister got when she did a semester abroad. I don't remember where exactly, but a foreign country nonetheless. Okay, right here we have a enjoy the little things. I got a bunch of this cheesy stuff. This is the only one I kept. Uh, there is a painting that me and Claire did in 2021 where we did like a trade back and forth thing. And then there are all my little speech and debate medals. Um, here's my pop collection. They're mostly Marvel. Here's my little Stranger Things collection. I couldn't find the rest of the characters and it was annoying me, more Marvel. Love that. They're just like really fun to me. Here's a little oil diffuser thing. I don't know. And here's a little thing that Claire just got me, which is like little mini incense. So my mom can't get mad at me for it. 
I'm definitely gonna try those sometime soon. And then we also have a salt lamp in the corner. It is, fun fact, the only thing that works with this light switch. Literally nothing else but that turns on. Here we have a giant Marvel poster. Very fancy. All of the movies through phase three, I think. Maybe through three? No, through phase three. There is not phase four. Um, there's a record player over here in the corner that I really barely use, which is kind of sad. Uh, records I own. We have Moss by Maya Hawk. Love her, adore her. Uh, Spotify is more convenient. <laughs> we have Sour, Olivia Rodrigo. Love, great album. We have Red by Taylor Swift. I like Taylor Swift, not a huge fan. This album is huge. Don't think I've ever listened to it. We have a Cave Town album. I used to be really obsessed with Cave Town. I have two Cave Town albums. I really like Cape Town. I just don't listen to them as much. I have not ever opened those albums, but they are really good. And we're back to Moss, the best album in all of existence. So I'm just gonna put those back up there. I need like a better way to display them. There's a music right there. I'm a music kid. Here's a fan because my room temperature is never normal. There's stuff that my friend left after a sleepover. Here's the Moss poster again. Here's another music thing. <laughs> another music thing. There's my letters for school. I lettered in orchestra. It's upside down. I and I got a bar this year. I lettered in choir. I got a bar this year. Here's my guild pens for piano. I wasn't able to do guild this year. I had a lot happening in my life. There's my letter for golf. And I got a bar this year. And there's my academic letter. Oh, I didn't get one this year. I think they haven't done that yet. I feel like maybe that happens early next year. I don't know. Don't really care. Up in the corner, we have a little display that's me and my sister, Audrey. She asked me to be your bridesmaid. That's what that is. Also, there's the selenite there. And it Russian nesting doll, for some reason. There we have a picture of me and my Uncle Jim. He sadly passed when I was very young, but I do adore him very much. And I like to keep that picture up there to commemorate him. Uh, we have some random <laughs> crystals. We have a selenite stick. There's a picture of my grandparents and a weird little sister thing that I found. These are decorations during the musical that they nailed to the wall and I stole them. Then we have the wedding singer posters that my high school did. Yeah, I think it's really fun that my school likes science posters. It was really cute. We have my pin board. It's hard for me to be in these shots, so just bear with me. There's a Starbucks order that's covering my last name because privacy reasons. Uh, here's a little license plate with my name from Virginia. Here's one from California. Here's a postcard my sister sent me. There's another card that my sister sent me. There's a picture of me and my sister. Uh, these are pins from uh, DI, Destination Imagination, from when I went to Globals. You know what that is? You do. If you don't, uh, Google it. I hate explaining it. Keychain. Keychain. Competitor. This is when I competed at State for Speech and Debates. Um, this little thing that Claire made. It's very cute. I am really want to add to this more. Um, Captain America pin. Loki pin. There's this little baby gum heart, which is so adorable. There's also a bunch of fortune cookie things. We have some pictures down here. This used to be from my vision board. I just kind of stopped doing a vision board. I don't know. I just like this more. Uh, here's a little mini dream catcher. Bang shoes. Love their shoes so much. <laughs> Not sponsored. University of Puget Sound, uh, my school went there on our Seattle trip. They gave us a sticker. This is a sticker that I got to commemorate Seattle. There is a fortune that I got in Seattle. There's a ticket to see the Seattle Symphony, um, when we went and saw that. There's a pin that my sister gave me. It's just down here. And here's a little Pocky Bunny that we got in Seattle at the Asian market. That's, that's just my, my little Seattle corner, really. Yeah, there's my pin board. I love my pin board so much. It's just a lot of fun. My Polaroid board, uh, there's a bunch of Polaroids on there. Pfft, obviously, there's a book of old Polaroids. There's a lot of old Polaroids with my ex-friends in there. Um, and then there's these gums. My friends make these gum hearts when we're done with our gum. And I put them up there because I think it's cute. Here's this little picture display. I painted that one. I painted that one. The rest like were like something that I bought at Ikea. Here's a picture of me and my family. I'm planning on printing other pictures and putting it in there. I just haven't really gotten to it, so it's a work in progress. Here's a bunch of Japanese soda, Ramoon. Ramoon. R I, I believe it's Ramoon. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please do correct me. I just think they're really fun. <laughs> so I have them up here. Uh, there's some candles that I painted. I went through a painting candle phase. And then a cupcake thing that lights up, but I cannot figure out how it actually lights up. Better close up of it. There it is. And here's my collection of soda. One last thing, my beautiful plants. This is a giant monstera that is just thriving. Uh, it is one of the plants I managed not to kill. Meanwhile, here's a plant that is very much dying and I'm trying so hard to revive it. You can't even see it because this monster is so huge. There it is, all the way back there. A lot of it died, but it's coming back. It's living. Here is a bunch of like herbs that I did indeed kill. Down here we have my box of camera stuff. There's, there's, it's just a bunch of stuff. And 
Right here we have a purple pillow that my cat and dog both love to sit on. It's like their little uh, dog bed. Anyways, uh, that's my room. Thank you for coming to my room tour. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like seeing my room. I love talking and rambling about nothing. So this was really fun for me. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. This lighting is really bad. So bear with me on this. It's gonna be bad lighting for the outro. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my and hit the bell for more content like this uh, very soon. In like two days, uh, you're getting a car tour video. I'm really cranking out the content. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If this is for you, as more people also may enjoy seeing it. Comment down below like the aesthetic of your room. I don't know the aesthetic of my room. Comment down below the aesthetic of my room. I'd love to know. I really don't know how to classify it. And yeah, that is all for today's video. <laughs> Bye everyone.